concept in 2014 was that these cultural policy exchange workshops will be practice-based. So the core idea was that these participants from different levels of uh, culture uh, policy making, from the ministry level, the national authority, the um, local authority, and even the city level authorities, meet and work together with people who are uh, working in cultural organizations such as galleries and museums and educational institutions but also cultural organizations which are private so not dependent on state funding and they and these include NGOs or art professional organizations and that these three or in any case diverse uh, levels of cultural um, production talk about the policy and the policy of uh, not only of the policy conditions of the country but the policy conditions that define how cultural production and cultural services and products take place in this whole region. Of course this is a difficult process so we have uh, had uh, several uh, exercises where we discuss first of all from the level of ideas and the knowledge that people have ready, available in their uh, professional life to, um, to put on the table where are the common topics, what are the uh, elements which are the key challenges for all six countries. And some of these uh, elements came uh, to the surface towards the second workshop where we started discussing more specifically why creative cities and cultural cities are um, an objective, uh, a concern for development as a new type of policy in different uh, cities in the six countries. Then secondly, if this uh, trend, this uh, very um, fashionable development of culture around the globe is relevant in a different way to the Eastern uh, Partnership countries, are there ways in which uh, um, audiences need to be included in the process of shaping this vision of what the culture of cities could be, what the cultural products in these cities need to be? And in, when, in what way people who are engaged in, uh, let's say, um, bottom-up initiatives of artists, of uh, cultural uh, enterprises, can uh, participate in shaping conditions that facilitate the development of culture in this, uh, in this region, in the different countries. Perhaps one of the best um, results is that we are more aware of those uh, key um, weaknesses that could be transformed into uh, potential of the region not only of that which looks very attractive and fashionable, but also of that where um, the need for closer assessment, for deeper um, inter-regional intra -regional cooperation can happen. I think that, of course, uh, by itself, this process of uh, open communication within the three cycles and practical exercises which pose concrete problems has led to people cooperating and inviting each other not only to visit each other's country as a guest tourist, but also to visit each other in the function of a, a cultural expert. So we have seen examples of uh, people cooperating across border in, uh, for instance, advising um, the transformation of uh, a local city strategy in relation to museums and museum audiences uh, happening across border from uh, Belarus and Moldova, which is a wonderful example. Uh, we have also seen uh, how different uh, regions in Ukraine have started to discuss to what extent the local city authorities are dealing with similar struggles um, and uh, are shaping uh, participation into policy from all the uh, stakeholders and, and this already has led to exchange in specific meetings and uh, round tables where policy is being developed. There is for the first time in the last 20 years probably, for the first time a chance for cultural professionals to work together and to define the needs of the region 
for themselves. Because very often we have uh, uh, international uh, policies, international movements, political or economic, that structure the world into regions. And, um, and this uh, um, external definition of how this region works, what it is like exactly, uh, doesn't necessarily match the participation of the cultural professionals in defining the huge amount of people who live in this region and the huge amount of uh, cultural and creative uh, uh, force that is um, in this region. So um, for the Eastern Partnership countries, the opportunity to work in a regional approach is also a unique opportunity to define uh, from a cultural perspective of the professionals where this region is um, vibrant, it has a dynamism that is uh, specifically local, it has a lot of uh, young potential and a lot of uh, creative uh, expression which is interesting and uh, unique for itself but also which makes it very attractive for uh, investors from outside the region, for uh, people who are interested in what Europe is like because we have um, um, a regional uh, phenomenon of uh, um, six countries shaping their policies but also shaping a new vision for the development uh, of cultural rights in this region and this um, opportunity to discuss how uh, cultural rights in this region are defined by a, a common past, by a divided present and by a future vision of cooperation is, uh, is very important. In the